driving in Pakistan cannot be explained. Do a lot of people feel like they're invincible, have multiple lives, or safety shouldn't just be regarded as a lifetime? Today we will try to find answers to all those questions and also get just a little bit closer to understanding why people in Pakistan drive the way they drive. When people ask me if Pakistan is dangerous, I mostly say no, for the exception of local driving. On my last trip, I had so many arguments with even the most educated and well-traveled friends of mine. This year, I'm coming back to finally answer the question, why do Pakistani people drive the way they drive? Based on a study, only 20% of people in big cities and about 5% of people in villages take safety precautions such as wearing seatbelts seriously. The fine for not wearing a seatbelt equals to 300 Pakistani rupees, which is about one US dollar. But what is Pakistan's driving culture without famous truck art? We are currently in outskirts of Lahore, trying to discover the most interesting truck drivers to explain us about their passion and understanding of truck art. <laughs> My name is Mokhtullah, I'm going to drive the truck with the ICU. I'm going to drive the truck with the ICU, I'm going to drive the truck with the ICU. It's a good thing, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. If you have a truck, you can make it a good thing. It's a good thing, it's 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 a good thing. कोई कोई किसी किसी को ये मजा देता है कि हम इसके पीछे खूबसूरत शायरी लेके खूबसूरत कवाली लेके खूबसूरत अकवाली जरिये लेके खूबसूरत ज़िंदगी ये ड्राइवरों का बस थोड़ा अगर जलालत है कोई पक नहीं पड़ता है लेकिन है आलाल ना पका पाकिस्तान में अभी कोर काम है ही नहीं जो रोता है वो मेट्रिक वालों के लिए ये अच्छा ज़िंदगी आओ ट्रक चलाने के लिए हम भी खुश हो जाएंगे वो भी ज़िंदगी है इस मेड इन जेल मैं सपने दोस्तों के साथ थोड़ा लड़ाई हो गया सी की वजह से हम जेल गए कितना टाइम गुजारा एक साथ अपना एक भाई था वो केस चला रहा था बस सी की दुआ वो माँ की दुआ की बरकत से हम बाहर आ गए मामा जी सब जान तो एक डिज़ाइन इंशाल्लाह माशाल्लाह ठीक है बिल्कुल रूसी का मात है इंशाल्लाह इसका मकसद ये जो किसी का नजर नहीं लगी जाएगा ना हम इंशाल्लाह इसको अच्छी नजर से देखना चाहिए पूरी नजर से नहीं क्योंकि ये हमारा पेश है ये हमारा काम है ये हमारा रोजी कमाने का है ठीक है यू आर माय चेयर दी यू आर पिक्चर आई एम दी लीडर यू आर मरियन वास और हमजा शबाज और गुड मतलब के लीडर और मैं आई एम यू आर हेड रेसर दी वर्कर ऑफ पीएमएलएन और यू आर कटिंग हेड रेसर वेलकम पाकिस्तान माय बेस्ट कंट्री इज पाकिस्तान सो मेनी पीपल स्टॉप मी एंड दे आस्क मी कैन यू टेक माय फोटो सो इट्स बीन एन एब्सोल्यूट ब्लेसिंग फिल्मिंग हियर and uh, you feel surprisingly welcome, even in a place like this. My name is Omar Sola. Four years. 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 इस मुल्क को सारे लुटेरे डाके हुए हैं चपरासी से लेके देहरादून तक डाकू ही डाकू है जो भी है वही तो और वही इस मुल्क को लुटने वाला यहाँ ये मुसलमानी है ये तो मनाफा के लोग हैं और क्या बता ग्रेव का जीना राम आ चुका है ग्रेवों को ये ज़हर दे दें तो वो बेहतर है अगर छह सारे को खिलाके बार दें Thank you. 
We interviewed both orthopedic surgeon and random passers-by, willing to share their story on Liberty Market in downtown Lahore. The question remains open. Why do people in Pakistan drive the way they drive? And the answers surprise me. Just like Pakistan itself never fails to surprise me. I am Professor Dr. Naeem Ahmed and uh, I am working as a uh, Professor of Orthopedic at uh, Gurki Trust Teaching Hospital and uh, I am working as Professor since last 10 years and uh, doing all type of orthopedic surgeries including trauma, joint replacement, spine surgery and all that. Uh, the driving in Pakistan, yes, uh, it's uh, day by day, it's getting worse and worse. What do you think about driving in Pakistan? Anything you do for safety? What do you think about other drivers in Pakistan? Accident have you ever seen the different sorts of vehicles on the roads in the Pakistan? They are motorbikes, they are rickshaws, and there are a special sort of rickshaws, which is called Chingchi Riksha. Have you ever seen? This Chingchi Riksha is a, a rickshaw made of, of metal all the way. There is no cushioning area. There is no uh, uh, foam or something like that to cover uh, anyone who stuck against it. So it is made up of all uh, metal. And when this vehicle struck against any human body, you can imagine the versatility of the injury. My name is Hafiz Farid, and my boutique work is Labaiti in the market. See? What do I do with them? I've seen a bike on the one-wheeling car in front of the girls. So, when I go to the front, so then it's going to be a good thing, so the girls are going to take care of it. So what's the benefit of this? This is the benefit of one wheel. In Pakistan, you see the female uh, sitting on the back. They have very loose clothes. They have uh, something to cover up the body. And this shawl type structure is very loose or this abaya is very loose. And when they drive with this loose clothes, they stuck against in the, in the uh, uh, revolving uh, wheel on the back that pulls everything on the on the on the on the female she there is an accident she fell and there sometimes there may be choking of the neck because of this uh, uh, shawl and uh, my my uh, advice to, to them is just not to have loose clothes while sitting on the back on the seat Forty days of traveling across Pakistan taught me that sky is the limit towards how people can use their vehicles. I saw humans on top of the car. Small bicycles that feed a family of five and drivers who multitask, having a call, making a video and steering a wheel all at the same time. Guys. Number one rule in Pakistan, do not drive on a motorbike without a helmet. Please, take care of your safety because it's so important. Simple helmet can save your life. However, your life is too precious to lose it to a road accident. Respect yourself and wear a seatbelt, wear a helmet and be a sensible driver. Driving in Pakistan cannot be explained. So please, be safe. Hi, I am Yerona Minska, and if you liked my Pakistan videos, please like, comment, share, and follow for more. Coming up, join me for a wild religious ceremony of Sufi devotees in the outskirts of Lahore to find out what is Sufism? Is it safe? Why is the shrine's location missing from Google Maps? Let's join the ceremony and capture the meditation like never before. Tune in for the next episode every Thursday at 5 o'clock.